Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Your name? Sheikh Hussain Pasha, sir. Okay, Hussain Pasha. Can I have your resume? Yes, sir. Okay, Sheikh Hussain Pasha. Yes, sir. So, introduce yourself. Sir, first of all, thanks for giving me this opportunity. Myself, uh, Sheikh Hussain Pasha. I am from Kamo. I recently completed my graduation in Vijay Engineering College in the stream of Computer Science and Engineering. And after that, uh, I completed my intermediate from Moira, uh, the College of Madhu Junior College. I have good knowledge on Python, Java, C Sharp, HTML, SQL, and CSS, along with that, uh, some basic knowledge in MVC. So, and during my graduation, I have done two projects. First one is related to Android of development. We, in this, we use uh, Android Studio along with Java. And after that, we uh, develop a project related to securing data by using blockchain and AI. And coming to my hobbies, uh, I like to play cricket because uh, it helps me to control emotions. And also I like to make, uh, do meditation, so it helps me to handle the stress. That's a good question. So can you explain any one of your project? So uh, my first project is related to Android of development. We develop Android, just like we convert the web page of our college into Android of development, which provides uh, complete information about our college, sir. Okay. Okay, Vishnu. So how much rate yourself in uh, C sharp sir. out of five? I give 7 out of 10 myself, sir. Okay, fine. That is good. So, what is the difference between an abstract class and interface? So, abstract class, we define a class by using abstract keyword. It's called abstract class. When interface, when it comes to interface, we can define by using interface. In abstract class, can consume both abstract methods and non-abstracts. But in interfaces, it consists of only abstract methods. We can achieve, uh, we can write constructors in abstract class. But in interfaces, we cannot write constructors. Okay, so what is the role of garbage collector? So uh, it help. It is used for two purposes. One is allocating memory and deallocating memory. Allocating memory is done by creating the object for the class, and uh, deallocating memory is the process uh, after execution of project. It removes the unnecessary files to free up the space. So what is thread and what is multi-thread and what are its uses of multi-threading? So, uh, we know that in C sharp uh, execution engine is CLR. So in CLR, uh, the main concept for execution is thread. Thread is a unit which is responsible for execution. So every application have a default thread card main thread. It is responsible for execution. Um, the purpose of using multi-threading is we can assign multiple thread for the multiple application to speed up the process and complete the execution within the time. Okay. So what is the main use of multi-threading? So what are the methods we can use? The sleeps method um, we are using, right? Sleeps methods are, and we use join um, for waiting the thread to until completing the execution and log to specify a uh, method uh, with the log to complete the execution and the start method to start the thread. Okay, so what is serial class? So we define a class by using CLD keyword is a CLD class. Um, the purpose of the defining CLD class is to uh, restrict the pro inheriting properties of the class. So what is the difference between function overloading and function overriding? Sir, so, um, function overriding is a compile-time poly polymorphism and function overriding is a runtime polymorphism. In function overloading can be done within the same class only, but overriding cannot be done in the same class. Uh, function overloading is a process of defining multiple methods with the same name by changing the behavior. Whereas overriding is a process of defining same name, same signature with same parameters. So what is collections? So collection is a data uh, is like a data structure which we can store the similar or different type of data in one place. Okay, so what is the encapsulation? How we can achieve? So encap encapsulation is the uh, wrapping, wrapping of structure, uh, variables and the methods. Uh, for example, package. Package is combination of classes, variables and input methods. Okay, so what is inheritance? Inheritance is one of the uh, principle of OOPS concept by uh, the, uh, the use of inheritance is to access the properties of parent class into the base class. Okay, fine Hussein. So, you, are, you have good knowledge in SQL also, right? So, what are the DDL and DML commands? So, DDL stands for Data Definition Language. Uh, there are four uh, in uh, Truncate, uh, drop. Uh, okay, DDL commands. Create. Create, alter, order, drop, truncate. Okay, fine. So, what is the purpose of the joins? So, join, uh, these are helpful to join two or more tables to get information based on specific condition. Okay. 
So well, let me go a little bit in depth. So what is the difference between managed code and unmanaged code in ASP.NET? So we know that uh, every c -shell application can run using uh, CLR. So the code which runs by using CLR is a managed code. The code which runs without the help of CLR is unmanaged code. So explain the .NET execution process. So we know that the first uh, whatever the code we written will be the source code. It will be converted into uh, Microsoft Intermediate Language by using language compiler so that uh, Microsoft Intermediate Language will be converted into uh, machine code by using JIT, just-in-time compiler. Okay, what is session and what are its types in so, ASP.NET? Session is a server-side um, technique. It is, used, uh, it is a variable used to store the information of the user for a specific period of time. A session uh, default time of storing the data is 20 minutes. Okay, fine. So what is the difference between cookies and sessions? Cookie is a client side server technique, where a session is a server side uh, technique. Okay. In cookies, uh, the default time of storing data is 30 minutes, whereas in some sessions, the default time for storing information is 20 minutes. So, what is the difference between try, catch and finally blocks? In try, we write the code which arises an error, uh, whereas in catch, we write the code uh, for user um, understanding what that code arises an error, and finally, it executes the code irrespective of the program. Okay, Vishen, it's great. Okay, thank you, Vishen. Thank you, sir.